Well, hello everyone, this is TRG and I'm here to play Call of Cthulhu. As you can see, um, I got 4 runs, yeah, 4 runs in order uh, to unlock this thing. There's a spot hidden, hidden here. See? This one. Kat knows about the theft from her stock of liquor. She soon finds out who he is and I would like to be in his shoes. Somebody's stealing from the bootlegger's stock of liquor. Hello, old friend. Nice. Battle of liquor. Uh-huh. Alright. About three runs, I able to open that thing. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I respect your beliefs. Our beliefs? You mean you don't believe in God? That's irrelevant. That's what you think. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two. Wait. Now that I think about it, it's got to be that. What brings you? Hmm. The two gods. The they're protecting their. They were they're more scared. If only. This. That statue represents what he would but he is isn't that a well, I already know this in my previous video. I've taken an Yeah, all of you already know this. So I go to the start of Brandon for more achievements. Same friend. Desecrated. I can't. Mm hmm. Then next, uh, talk to Captain Prince Roy. Hmm. Hmm. To think that there is some, to think that there is something like that. Oh. Why? Who the hell? Who's this guy? No. What's with you wandering around? We saw you. Oh, diet. I've got to end. No, I don't give a damn. We. I bid you, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I have an off. I need you. What's what would there's all look what I've got? Yeah, follow me. Then something real bad. Let's go here after that thing. Because if I go there, it will going to trigger the the ending scenario I hope this one will work hmm hmm Like everything is in its place. All I have to do. Nice. Woo. Ugh. It's finally do did it. Oof. Nice. Oh my God. This is progress. 
is indeed progress. Oh my god. Hmm. So what do we have here? Uh Hmm. <coughs> oh my god, I <coughs> I hate you. Other Oh, not you, not you. I'm going to go here. Going to go here. Hmm. Hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god! And I died. <gasps> oh my god. What the hell just happened? Wait, what? Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> Smoke. It's coming from this oil. I hope it's not toxic. <coughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> Wait. Did I get did I go back? Yeah, I did. Oh my god, I did. I did go back. Oh. Hmm. Here, this one. This is primitive. Mm hmm. Oh. Ah. Uh. This place stinks. Mm hmm. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? We also don't know. Hmm. 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 Nice. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, those are progress. Indeed. I'm lost at the... Sec on episode 2. I'm lost. 
The glass is shattered, like someone smashed it. Was it before or after the removal of these bandages? Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? It smells as bad as it looks. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Mm-hmm. Someone treasures this crumpled picture to the point of sleeping with it. Hmm. I cannot interact with that thing, though. Now, I cannot interact with that thing. Hmm. Someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? Yo, don't move. Detective Pierce, I mm -hmm. told you to stay away from this warehouse. Oh. Ho. You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go mm -hmm. and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Now we got a, a perfect... Mm. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Oh, who? Is it far, this mansion? Now we finally did our thing. Look huh. behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Finally, we did some progress. <laughs> hmm.
Well, this time I didn't in un I did some something in the approach. Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. Hmm. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Hmm. I see no scorched tree. You're pretty damn. The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas any. Are we gonna take a closer look? You won't get me to believe that it looked any better. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. Huh. Come on, let's leave this. Let's go up there. You're the one who... Don't think I was trying to hide it. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed... Yes. If something escaped us, or... If anything else? <laughs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, though, he's got nowhere to go. And as you... Is there anything else you want to ask me? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. A wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Hmm. Someone is using the fireplace. I suppose that this is where old Winchester lives. Hmm. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined, but the architecture seems too recent. Just wait. Going to investigate the area. So what do we got? Okay.
Hmm. So where are we going to go? Flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. The old caretaker must be very attached to her. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? Mm. I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Hmm. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he devastated him. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary? Poor kid. Poor kid. Hmm. Let alone allowing it. Even that flawed baker who loved that. Lord, have pity on these poor bastards. Hmm. Oh, it's seed. I'll have to find another entrance. Hmm. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa! Uh. Uh. You're... Mr. Winchester, lower that axe, and let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Mm-hmm. Sarah Hawkins' father sent me here to investigate the death of his daughter. Webster, huh? I understand how he feels. But me? I want the dead to rest in peace. And that means kicking the ass of gumshoes like you. Why would you not want me to help understand what happened? I've got nothing to hide. Tell me what you're doing here. And no baloney. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants uh -huh. to restore the reputation of 
his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. The mansion isn't safe. You would break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. Hmm. Hmm. You still put flowers on her grave. You cherish her memory. Mrs. Hawkins was an exceptional person. She cared for everyone around her. Let me shed a light on what happened. Hmm. I'm probably making a big mistake, but it won't here. Take the go on then. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Hmm. It also did I make a fuck? Did I make? Hmm. Shall we enter? Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. You're right. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Hmm. Pierce and Officer Vladdy explore the garden of the Hawkins Mansion. The family lies in the graveyard of the property, guarded by his Silas Watt Winchester. The old caretaker is still faithful to his employers, keep watch of the place armed with his axe. Pierce and Vladdy manage to calm him down and finally get hold of the key of Hawkins Mansion. They enter the building, looking for the scene of the fire. Follow me. I know the place. Hmm. Who left this? Hmm. Hmm. The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? Hmm. What kind of meat is this? I also want to know. This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. Mm -hmm. The boy was probably here, smashed his plate on the floor. Hmm. Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Something happened at this table. An argument? Working, officer. 
This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Hmm. Silas managed to bring the fire under control. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? Hmm. Stop at the time of the fire. Hmm. They had a fight. Why? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Hmm. Did someone escape the fire? Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. Hmm. So, detective, what do you make of it? Hmm. I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. <laughs> What's your theory? Hmm.
Hmm. I suspect a crime of passion. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. This door is locked. These bandages are covered in dried blood. But whose? Hmm. Lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. The lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. Hmm. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. Hmm. Uh, Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. Mm hmm. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. Hmm. A book on hunting whales, 
the island's staple diet last century. Hmm. Hmm. One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. Hmm. Could prove useful. Hmm. Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police. Dear sir, as you know, I've always held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of your wife. Last week, she again terrified my client. I know that she may no harm, but you should place her in the care of Dr. Fuller. He alone seemed to be able to make her calm to her sense. If this disturbance were to occur, believe me that I thought it would be good. Mm -hmm. The letter of complaint. Locked. The boys' room. Just wait. Hmm. child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Hmm. Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Hmm. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11-year-old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. Hmm. 
Yeah, indeed. Some something. Where the hell is it? What was going through that boy's mind? Where the hell, it, the hell is it? Hmm. But I'm going to end it here. Thank you everyone for watching this. I hope you have a good day.